Hi, my name is Mike Conley. I'm the owner of Property Management Inc. here in Fremont. And we're going to take a couple minutes just to look from an investor's standpoint on what it's like to own a rental home in, this, in Union City. And we've got some pros and cons, and we'll start with the pros. Number one, you've got growth for single family homes that is totally limited in Union City. There's simply no room to grow. There's uh, virtually no place to add any single family homes. So, so growth is maxed out. And what that means for the existing stock of homes that's there is that they're able, as uh, Union City becomes more and more desirable um, to live in, you're going to be able to hold your rents, increase your rents, because you're going to have less competition with newer homes. Second of all, you're in close proximity to the Dumbarton Bridge, and this is huge because more and more workers from the other side of the bridge are coming to Union City and Newark and Fremont to rent homes at one-third less than they're paying on that side of the bridge. And so, in fact, uh, Facebook offers to employees that rent in Union City, all, uh, they'll pay for all moving costs as well as 50% of your first year's rent. That's how bullish they are on helping employees move to this side of the bridge. So that's a real plus. And then you've got your cap rate higher in Union City than in many other East Bay cities. And that's simply because you're able to buy a home in Union City about 25% less than the same size home in Fremont, and yet you're able to get almost identical rent for that home, maybe 5 to 10% less. So you're paying less for a home, getting almost the same rent, that equates to a higher cap rate, which is ideal from an investment standpoint. And then the, the fourth pro is that you've got solid retail growth and development happening in Union City. You've got uh, the old uh, Alvarado district, the downtown area of Union City being revitalized. You've got a lot of new retail going up at Union Station where the BART station is and 11th Street. So uh, the city really is undergoing a big transformation in terms of retail and um, a redevelopment. So that's a real pro for an investor. Couple of the cons with Union City. Number one, the schools are rated lower than other East Bay cities. Not by much. They're about a 7 on a 10 scale, which is about average for the state. But uh, uh, just know from an investment standpoint that the schools are just about average. Number two, you've got uh, not much high tech or manufacturing happening in Union City. In fact, there's only two companies with 300 employees or more in the, the whole town. And you contrast that to Fremont that has uh, over 10 cities with 1,000 employees or more. So not much high tech or manufacturing. You don't have a, a lot of diversity there. So it truly is just a, a bedroom community. And then the third con is that you had a recent rental ordinance passed in Union City that states that any rent increase of 7% or more allows the tenant to take that increase to mediation. And you also can't give notice to a, a, a tenant in Union City without giving them uh, a reason why. So uh, th this is a new ordinance that was just passed. It's not uh, a deal breaker, but you uh, have to navigate it carefully. And so uh, that's something to consider when investing in Union City. But all in all, I give the town a solid B. Very good investment. And um, uh, I liked a lot of the things that are happening in this town. Now, I personally only manage real estate, but give me a call because my brother Tom deals with buying and selling and 1031 exchanges. He's a seasoned broker. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.